I click on every single one of these videos that shows up on my YouTube homepage. Seriously, I've probably started watching 12 of these videos in the last two weeks, but after 15 seconds, my eyes start to glaze over and I feel completely overwhelmed. I was looking for inspiration on how to take my Notion second brain to the next level, but I realized something. My second brain has one thing these setups don't have, functionality. It's simple, and that's how I like it. First off, let me list off all the tools I use for my second brain. Notion, obviously, this is the full dashboard, a notes app, reminders app, Google Docs to store all of my book notes, and Google Calendar for work meetings and that sort of thing. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna focus on the first three. Okay, first off, Notion databases are super cool, but if you're building a second brain for yourself and not bootstrapping a software as a service company, they're almost totally unnecessary. Personally, I'm about actually getting things done, not building the most complex second brain imaginable. It may not be as sexy as some of the ones you've seen on YouTube, but being productive is sexy to me. For that reason, you can view almost everything all on my single dashboard view in Notion. By doing this, I can see everything in my world at a glance. I literally can't miss something because nothing is hidden. I've got my week planned out across the top, broken out into work, personal, and exercise for each day. Feel free to customize these or add to them. I've also got upcoming, which is a placeholder I use to keep track of things that don't really have a date or need to happen in the near future. Looking down the left-hand column, you can see businesses, quick notes, my current quarter's goals, annual goals, and longer-term goals. In the top two sections, I have 10 pages and one database. Each page has additional context for that category. Again, very simple, very clean, very easy to use. The single database, Articles to Read, is only a database because of how I can save articles into Notion from my iPhone. I'll show you that in a minute. With the goals sections, these are literally just lists. This is all about keeping them in front of me. I have to look at these every day and stay accountable to them. Down the right hand column, I have current projects, life principles, and a blanket other reference section. Current projects are things I'm working on right now that may or may not be related to one of the business categories, and life principles is just another list. Like my goals, I just want to keep these in front of me. Look at number three, simplicity. That's it, that's my complete dashboard. So now let's jump into my iPhone so I can show you how I use the articles to read database. Okay, say you found this article while browsing on your phone but don't have the time to read it yet. Instead of leaving the window open, I add this to my articles to read database. I click the share icon at the bottom, scroll to Notion, and there's my single database. While we're here, you can see my dashboard is definitely set up for desktop, but it works on my phone well enough. Here's that article we saved. Onto the Notes app, I used Notes exclusively before Notion. So what's left in here is basically stuff I haven't transferred over yet. These things are nice to keep here for easy reference. I also still keep a password protector passwords note and any notes from the books I'm currently reading, which I'll transfer into my Google Doc once I finish the book. On to reminders. Almost all of my reminders are what I label repeat reminders, paying my credit cards, taking out the trash, birthdays, things like that. I also put in here little tasks that I come across throughout the day that I know I need to take care of, but don't really feel like putting into my Notion Doc. Essentially, if there's something I need to keep track of, it needs to live somewhere. If there are podcasts I want to listen to, I just bookmark them in podcasts. If there are YouTube videos I want to watch, I just add them to watch later. We need to stop making everything so complex. Complexity is the enemy of execution. There's no reason to be putting those things into a Notion database, just so you can go into your Notion database and click on the link and reopen the app that you need to actually watch or listen to it on. The whole point of having a second brain is to get everything out of your head. As David Allen says, your brain is for having ideas, not storing old ones. You'll be amazed at how creative you can be once you get all those thoughts and things to remember floating around in your head down into a system. Find a system that works, that's easy, and that you'll use. Then get to work. If you want a free template version of my Notion Second Brain, hit the SendFox link down below in the description and I'll send it over to you for free. And you can just duplicate it and start building out your own.